Ready? Yes. Uh, so we are going to be looking at the ventricle system. And first of all, this is the lateral ventricle. Then we get to the third ventricle right here through the interventricular foramen of Monroe. This piece right here shows that cerebral salvius. This is part of the midbrain. Then we get to the fourth ventricle, which is this part right here. So this is the, the cavity that we see it inside the forebrain and the brain stem area. So we have two lateral ventricles. That's part of the telencephalon. Third ventricle, which is the flat cavity right here. That is part of the diencephalon. Then it goes to the cerebral salvius. That is part of the midbrain. Then in the pons and the open medulla, you have, we have the fourth ventricle right here. Then after that, we get to the central canal. Choroplexus is gonna start from the lateral ventricle right here, and it follows the lateral ventricle. It passes through the foramen Monroe, and it sits on the top of the third ventricle at this point. Then the rest of the choroplexus, you can see that in the caudal part of the fourth ventricle. If you know the ventricular system, it makes it easier uh, that we understand the rest of the brain if we know the borders of the of those ventricles. We already studied those, the fourth ventricle, the roof of that is gonna be made by the cerebellum. Then you have the superior imagery villum, inferior imagery villum, and then you have the rhombot falsa, which is the floor of the fourth ventricle. The cerebral salvius right here, which is part of the midbrain, you have the inferior colliculus and superior colliculus as this area, which makes the tectum. Then you have a tegmentum, which is making the floor of the cerebral salvius. Third ventricle, which is the flat ventricle right here, which is very thin. And on the lateral sides, we have on the superior part, we have the thalamus. And on the inferior part, we have the hypothalamus. So we have the hypothalamus right here, and here's the thalamus right here. And what divides the two is gonna be a cliff right here, which is gonna be made by the hypothalamic sulcus. The two thalami on either side, usually they're connected by this connection, which is called the interthalamic adhesion or maso intermedia. So in this area, you don't have the ventricle, it's gonna be a mass of the tissue that connects the two sides. If you look at the lateral ventricle, this part, which is the anterior horn, is gonna be found in the frontal lobe. Then you have the body part right here, which is part of the parietal lobe mainly. Then you have the posterior horn that is gonna to go to the occipital lobe. Then you go to the inferior horn that is gonna to go to the temporal lobe. And this part of the lateral ventricle, what it is gonna be interesting to know is that the walls are made of the corpus callosum on the top right here. So the corpus callosum goes on the top of these uh, ventricles. The floor of this uh, lateral ventricle here is gonna be the, the thalamus. The thalamus is gonna be sitting right here where the medial wall of the thalamus is gonna be third ventricle. The roof of the thalamus is gonna be the lateral ventricle. And what is gonna make this lateral wall of the lateral ventricle right here and from this point all the way down to the inferior horn is gonna be the cardiac nucleus. So cardiac nucleus is gonna make a C shape. The head is gonna be right here, then it becomes the body. And as it goes through the temporal lobe, it becomes a tail. So you can follow the cardiac nucleus along the lateral ventricle. Now we're gonna go to the brain itself to see that how it looks like. So here is the fourth ventricle as we talked about that. And his fourth ventricle has the cerebellum that makes the roof. You have the superior major volume right here. Inferior major volume is going to be down here. Part of it is going to be made by the core plexus. Then the floor, you have the pons right here and the medulla right here. And this is going to be called the open medulla because it has the fourth ventricle. Then you go to the central canal that is going to be getting to the closed medulla. Then it goes to the spinal cord. If you follow up the fourth ventricle toward the nose, rostrally, you get to the cerebral salvius right here. You have the inferior colliculus, superior colliculus, and then you have the rest of the midbrain, which is gonna be the tegmentum and the basal right here. And you notice that this right here is the dark, and that's the substantial Niagara that we will look at the function of those later time in the course. 
and then from the cerebral salvius is going to come down then we go to the diencephalon and here you have the epithalamus right here which is the pineal gland then you have this part right here which is the posterior commissure and up here you have the habineal nucleus and it's going to be making the this line right here is called the estrella medullaris of thalamus right here it goes the line that goes on top this is the master intermedia that we look at that on the model that is going to connect the two thalami this is the hypothalamic sulcus that is going to be found on the lateral side of the third ventricle on the top you have the thalamus and on the bottom you have the hypothalamus and on the bottom that belongs to the hypothalamus you have the mammary body you have the optic chiasm and between the mammary body and optic chiasm you have the line right here which makes the floor of the third ventricle that is going to be called the tuber scenario. In the front from the optic chiasm to this structure right here which is anterior commissure right here this line is called laminal terminalis and that makes the anterior wall of the of the third ventricle. This was the anterior wall of the neural tube then the telencephalon is going to be made and makes a huge structure, it's a C-shaped structure, it's going to go around and the ventricular system is going to continue through this hole which we call it interventricular foramen mandrel where you have the fornix that is going to come right here from the top and makes a curve and it goes down this is going to be part of the body of the fornix and it curves around around the foramen mandrel that's the genia then as we talk about that we have the corpus callosum and this is structure right here is called the uh, septum pellicidum which is going to be between the two lateral ventricles. So if I go from the third ventricle down into the hole, I'm entering to the lateral ventricle, and the lateral ventricle at this side, the roof is made of the corpus callosum, and the floor is made of the thalamus at this point. So if I look at the lateral ventricle a little bit deeper, right here, you will notice that uh, we remove the septum pallistum right here, and then you have that uh, part of the cardiac nucleus that's the head of the cardiac nucleus then it becomes the body this is the lateral wall of the lateral ventricle at this area corpus callosum makes the roof and the thalamus makes the floor and then if you go to the front of the lateral ventricle you will notice that the corpus callosum makes the c-shape this becomes the genu of the corpus callosum and rostrum of the corpus callosum and as you go up right here it becomes the body and it becomes the splenium of the corpus callosum. This is a structure that is being tagged right here. The, as you can see that, that is part of the anterior commissure. And this tag right here, that is the superior colliculus right here. But if you notice that this is the fourth ventricle and the cerebacular salvius is gonna go through this hole and this is gonna be getting all the way through this area and it goes to this lateral ventricle that is part of the telencephalon. So if you go to this structure right here, this shows that this is not the best structure that we have, but uh, it is a structure that we, we can talk about right now. This is the floor of the fourth ventricle. And the floor of the fourth ventricle, you have the structures that we need to study. One is right here, is the median sulcus right here. Then you have another sulcus that goes around right here that is the sulcus limitans. So you have one on either side right here, and between this sulcus limitans and this sulcus limitans right here, you have the medial eminences right here. Medial eminence are made of the basal plate, which is the motor system. Right in this area, you have the facial colliculus, and as you go down deeper toward the obix, you have this triangle shape right here, that's the hypoglossal trigon, and you have this triangle shape right here. I don't know how visible it is on the, on the screen, and this is gonna be the vagal trigon. So the vagal trigon is gonna be more inferior lateral, whereas the hypoglossal trigon is more superior medial structure right here. Then on the lateral side of the sulcus limitus, you have this area right here. This is called the vestibular system and vestibular area. What is tagged on the top is the inferior colliculi. There are inferior colliculi right here, and there are superior colliculi right here, and this one right here is the pineal gland. 
which is going to be part of the diencephalon, and on the lateral sides, you have the pulvinor of the thalami. And uh, back here, and uh, what we have, can I use another example? Yeah, sure. Just right there. Are we 